Hello ghouls and dolls, it's Carly and welcome back to another Monster High video. Today we are going to meet Abby Abominable from the Picture Day Collection. This is actually my first Abby, so I'm really really excited to do this unboxing because I just really love how curt and to the point she is. She's such a great character. For accessories, Abby comes with the typical doll stand and Monster High hairbrush. These ones are black, so there's nothing super exciting here. She does come with her backpack, which is this clear pink with a crystalline texture to it. It also comes with this little key ring up on top. So you got all of her keys, of course, one of which has a skelet on it. And this thing has an open ring, so if you get this, I highly suggest hooping it through this little gap in between the handle up top and one of the straps, or else it's gonna fall off. And she also has a little blue notebook with a similar crystalline pattern on it. This does open, and inside there is just a little skelet and what looks like a lined interior. And for the piece de resistance, we have the fear book says property of Abby Abominable. And this one is actually a pretty short booklet, but it's still exciting nonetheless. Um, on this page, it's just the picture of the faculty. And there's also her section for writing in the votes for the most athletic, the always late to class, most likely to succeed, and the fastest people in school. And in the center here, there's actually a space for you to put the stickers that come with the book for who you actually think deserve those spots. And you have Abby up here. I just, I love her picture. I mean, that is just so typically Abby. She doesn't smile, so the awkward half smile is just hilarious. And of course, you have Draculaura, Spectra, Cleo, Frankie. Everyone is here, like seriously. Well, not everyone, but you know what I mean. There's a lot of people, including C.A. Cupid. And I, I secretly love her. I also love the Ever After High Dolls that she branches into. Moving along though, after that there is just a class photo with just about everyone in there. And there is also a page for all of the signatures. So that is all the accessories that she comes with. Let's go ahead and move on to the makeup and hair. Abby's hair is a really long platinum blonde shade and there's actually these little strands of what looks like iridescent streamers in it. There's also the pink and blue streaks and there's a little bit of purple mixed in there too. It is very straight and it goes down to around waist length. As for her makeup, she does have her dark plummy brows along with a teeny tiny bit of glitter as her brow bone highlight. She has a purplish pink in the crease with a darker purple as her defining crease color and a light blue on the lower lash line and on the lid. And for her lips, she's got this really pretty, frigid, kind of lavender pink shade. Abby's keeping it really minimalistic with her accessories. The only ones that she has is this single earring, which looks like a clear pink icicle ear cuff with a dangly bit down there. She also has this amazing knuckle ring with big pink crystals on it. I honestly wish that they had a big size one. I. I would wear this, I'm not even joking. And then she has a black crystalline belt, which is removable since there's a little button thing at the back that you can pop in and out. But that is all that she has for accessories, so let's move right on to her clothing. So Abby being Abby, and from the Himalayas, she kind of has this whole layering thing that she likes to do. Up on top we have this super fuzzy black sparkly bolero covering her little dress, which does have straps. And the dress itself is really, really busy. It has this kind of almost golden with a green shift, melted looking goose splat up here as an accent. And her dress is an interesting pattern. It honestly reminds me of thermo imaging, which I think is what they're going for because you know, the cool is like the nice cold frigid air that she's used to with like the red in the center being warmer stuff. I think it's just a really nice touch. And then her little capri pants have a geometric crystalline pattern to them and her colors, which are pink, blue, black, and purple. And then for her boots, like always, there's some kind of icy crystallage going on here, especially up here where there should be fur. No, there's just a whole bunch of black ice. And these are kind of see-through, which I do like. The pattern of the boots itself is very crystalline. 
There are straps to keep it on up here and down here. They are wedges with a jagged crystalline edge and they're kind of a pain to get off, I'm not gonna lie. They take a little bit of manpower. But on the side, there is a little skelet. They could not get away without putting one somewhere on her outfit, of course. Before wrapping up, let's take a few seconds to take a look at what makes Abby distinctly herself. Of course, we have her blue skin, but what makes it even more interesting is that it is super, super glittery. Like, there is no joke glitter everywhere. Face, neck, limbs, bodice, everywhere. And I love it. Also, she has her little fangs down here on the lower part of her jaw. And of course, these wonderful, wonderful pointy claw nails. I am in love with these nails. If I could, I would definitely grow out my nails to be like this, but I guess I'm not as fabulous as she is, so I don't know if I could pull it off. But that is what makes Abby herself. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Now you can watch another one of my Monster High videos, or you can watch one of my friends' videos. Our pictures are always in the corner, like these four examples.